I'm Mike Grisham, the research leader here at the Sugarcane Research Unit of USDA ARS. Uh, our facility is responsible for conducting research uh, to benefit our stakeholders, which is who are the American Sugarcane League uh, members, as well as all of the domestic industry, sugar industry in the United States. Our purpose here today was to review some of our research that's being conducted here at the uh, Sugarcane Research Unit. Uh, much of our research is focused on breeding new varieties for the Louisiana industry. The Louisiana industry is in a temperate zone, which is different from what sugarcane is normally grown in, which is sugarcane being a tropical plant. To conduct breeding efforts for sugarcane, the plant must be tricked into believing it's in the tropics. Of course, in the tropics, you have equal day, night, as far as the uh, the light regime, it's under those conditions that the plant will flower. Those conditions in Homa, in Louisiana, occur in December. At that point, it's much too cold to conduct uh, that type of flowering and crossing. So it's at this stage of the program that uh, varieties have been selected as potential new entries into the industry. Uh, the, one of the demonstrations was those varieties that are already out there in the industry to talk with the growers about their uh, strengths and weaknesses and how to properly uh, grow those. Uh, the next stop emphasized the selection process, the field selection process that we undergo. Approximately 100,000 individual plants from an individual seed are planted out each year from the crosses that are made. Those are selected over a period of 10 to 12 years, and each, at each selection year, they're reduced and the best are kept till the next year. So that was what was being emphasized at that stop. Then we had a stop which uh, was concerned with the weed science program, how to control the weeds that we have in Louisiana. Uh, the weed scientists there presented uh, the control practices that are uh, recommended to the growers in Louisiana. Then we had a stop where <clears throat> the scientists are concerned with what we do with the crop during, or what we do with the land during the fallow period between uh, final harvest and replanting the crop the next year. So they covered some of the uh, aspects that how to treat that land, and one of those is to plant a cover crop. So they were demonstrating some of the potential cover crops that can not only protect the land uh, increase its tilth, but also control weed invasions during that, that period of time. Then we had a stop where uh, the scientist there was emphasizing fertilizer, con fertilizer usage and the research that was done to develop the practices that are recommended to the growers on their fertility use. Also at that stop, we had a scientist who was looking at new configurations for the rows that we use in the, in the fields. Currently our rows are equal distance apart from each other. He's looking for some other alternatives, uh, ways to grow the, the cane and the harvesters that will be adapted to harvesting under those conditions.